media had never been an area of interest okay. as a host or something like that up mm -hmm. until that point. Mm -hmm. And then I realized this thing, I actually like it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I should mm -hmm. go into it. In life, don't wait for anything that you're qualified for. Okay. End of Kuzwe. <laughs> End of Wami <laughs> Wezifanya. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Senana Mitindo and today we are starting a new series on Kenya's radio presenters. As we start this, we have an amazing guest. Unajua tu mi na kuanga tu ni mwa na waleti awale the best of the best. So today we have the best of the best of the radio presenters. Mwenye na tuanzishia show leo ni none other than Benjamin Waka na tumefrai sana kuwa na ye hapa. So Benja. Yes, karibu sir. sana kwa show. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sijui ni kugotee kwanza. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> eh, karibu sana. Asante. Eh, Tumefurahi sana kuwa na wewe hapa. Mm. Eh, so that's your camera. All right. Ji introduce kwa audience yetu mm. wange who, who is Benja, maybe someone who is watching the show for the very first time na hajui who Benjamin Waka is. Mm. Eh, you can introduce yourself. All right. Um, I'm just intimidated by the introduction. It's the best of the best. <laughs> but my name is Benjamin Waka. I like to introduce myself as first a worshiper of God, which means that I live a lifestyle that is pleasing to the Lord. Mm. Apart from that, I'm a husband. I'm married uh, to one beautiful Mrs. B. Um, I am a pastor as well. I am a musician. Mm -hmm. That's actually my uh, primary <laughs> uh, gifting. And then yeah. most recently, media personality, yes. Nice, nice, nice. We are so excited to have you. My pleasure. Siku jua, siku jua bit ya music in your prime, like uh. your... Uh, but we fry sana kuwa na wea hapa leo. Thanks, mm -hmm. uh, Even as we start this show, yeah. uh, this, this new series. Mm -hmm. So who is Benjamin? Where did you grow up? Where did you go to high school? Mm -hmm. All right, yes. um, Benjamin Waka is uh, an ordinary Kenyan, <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of us, but uh -huh. um, I actually figured out I was born in Kangwa. Uh -huh. I think we lived there um, until... Umetumia um, jina, figured out. Uh, yeah, of course, because now I was told, yeah? Uh, you were told. <laughs> uh, by my mom. Okay. You know, she had I was going to minister some place in Kangwa, and then she told me, no, that is where you were born. I was like, really? Aujaini <laughs> 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 yeah. Aujaini yeah, you know, okay. but I was born in Kangwa. Uh -huh. So, um, my mom was um, from a humble background. Okay. So, my mom and dad uh, were working at the Kenyatta National Hospital, mm -hmm. but now the KMTC uh, side of it. Okay. So, um, after staying in Kangare for about 10 years, mm -hmm. that's when we relocated to Kenyatta. So, my biggest um, time and life, mm -hmm. uh, ha I have been in Kenyatta. Okay. I actually wanted to be a doctor because those are the kind of people that are surrounding that well, place. You, you meet the students. <laughs> I mean, you are <laughs> sick. When you fall sick, you don't, you're not taken to the hospital. You're taken to your neighbor's house. Wait, okay. <laughs> and then I'm the neighbor, yes, you go tell the neighbor, okay, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, we never had the luxury of going to the hospital. Actually, the hospital used to be our playground. Okay. We would come from the estates and then go to Kenyatta Hospital and have friends who were admitted over there. You know, the kids were like at 7th floor and 8th floor those days. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then the private wing on 9th and 10th ninth and floor. Okay. So we'd go and have, uh, we'd play with those kids. We would ah, do not go in any. You know, one of one time, uh, yeah, <laughs> our, our friend actually broke his arm uh -huh. and uh, he was admitted over there. Uh -huh. And we would go. Mm. We would go shinda with him the whole day. Mm -hmm. So Sisa took a, you know, we just had access. I mean, to that place it was. It was easy to yeah. have access to everything. Kenyan was our playground. <laughs> we play with the lifts. Mm -hmm. We prank the security guards. Where? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. where I grew up. Okay. Went to school at Mbagathi. It's just very near Kenyatta, um, okay. Kenyatta mm -hmm. Estate. Mm -hmm. And then also went to high school at... Uh, Highway Secondary School. Highway That's secondary in, school. yeah, it was a day school. It's on uh, Mombasa Road. Okay. So it was also very not far uh, from, from home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a day school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we had beef with Jamu. I hope you're not mm -hmm. from Jamu. <laughs> I'm not from there. <laughs> <laughs> Shaka. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So basically that has been me. Um, went to University of Eldoret, studied um, 
uh, social work as mm -hmm. my, that's literally my profession, sociology mostly. Mm -hmm. um, so that is um, my background. Mm -hmm. I like uh, understanding culture. I like understanding behaviors of people. Okay. I like understanding why people do what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, who's decided that this is, you mm -hmm. know, a tradition, a belief. Mm -hmm. And uh, why are people following that? Basically yeah. questioning life yeah. and just mm -hmm. trying to find answers about, around about that, yes. Yeah, so. Mimi niko nimejua ulienda kampo kusomea radio media so how did you find yourself into the media space actually I, I don't know but it it just started showing i mean uh, you know I, I would get most chances to be in the media okay I would get invited as a guest uh -huh. to go and speak. I would uh -huh. get invited as a guest to go and sing. Okay. Um, you know, that's how I got to know K10. I got mm -hmm. to know in mm -hmm. uh, Nation. Mm -hmm. And then, so after doing that, I started being a guest at Family. Family Family, radio. Uh, family TV and Family Radio. Okay. I went for the breakfast show. Mm -hmm. I did press circle for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I think one of my friends who was hosting the show mm -hmm. was leaving. Uh, so when she was leaving, I think she was asked to recommend at least three people okay. that would be able to take over the show. Yeah, and she had, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, and she had always told me, even yeah. when I was a guest and I would go there, yeah. she told me, Benjamin, you know, you can host this show. I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're kidding. Yeah, you're kidding. Let this thing go. Uh -huh. And then we go for honeymoon with my wife. We come back. Okay. And then she's like, um, I'm when, leaving. When was this? When was this? this was in 2019. 2019. Yeah. So okay. she was like, I'm leaving. Can you can you come? Mm -hmm. Apparently, of the three people that we were suggested, it looked like I was the most consistent one okay. and the one who was interested. Mm -hmm. So they told me, um, come, let's mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started going. They they did uh, they gave me you know the my tests. Uh, my tests mm -hmm. They they gave me the language mm -hmm. uh, of radio. Mm -hmm how to think like a radio presenter and things mm -hmm. like that. Going okay. through the training for about two weeks mm -hmm. because now she was leaving. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was told that, I was told no. I was told no, you were not. You were told no? Yes. <laughs> like after training, <laughs> how long was the training? Like two weeks or something. Two weeks? Yes. <laughs> I love Unambio, no. Unambio, no. Okay. The, the crazy part is we went with my, my wife is, has been in the media for, about 13 to 14 years now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's so amazing. she is an, a, she's an experienced <laughs> radio presenter. Uh -huh. And of course, I've been a guest, so yeah. I know how to be a guest. And um, for uh, me, that's very comfor a comfortable yes, place yes, to be. Yes, uh, so we, we get on radio uh -huh. and they ask me to bring a guest <laughs> who can sit on the other side. And uh, because my guest bailed out, I had to take my wife. Uh -huh. It was so funny for us to switch <laughs> roles. <laughs> so uh, she feels like, this guy is messing it up as a yes. as a radio presenter. And this is a no. Hey. And I'm yeah. and I I would throw questions to her that mm. she's not able to answer. Yeah. And I'm thinking, so and say if like <laughs> we had switch roles yeah. because we are we're so good at at uh, she was so good at hosting people. Yes, yes. I was so good at being hosted. Mm. But right now I needed to host her and mm. she needed to be a guest. And and it was just a very it crazy and a funny. <laughs> Yeah, so, but we're looking uh -huh. forward to hosting a show together. Oh, I think nice, it's one of the things nice, that we'd love nice. to do, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So, that was the training period. I had this boss that was very tough. Mm. Um, then so, you were told no? I was told no. Okay. So, you don't have the personality for radio. Mm -hmm. We don't feel like you can do this. No. You're not that guy. <laughs> I mean, you're just not what we're looking for. Uh, and I was like, cool. Uh, I went home. Uh, but then I started thinking about that. And I said, Aish, mm. I, just, I told the devil that he's too late. Amen. Had already been exposed. <laughs> yeah, I already yeah, knew I can yeah, do yeah. that. Uh -huh. And so, our media had never been an area of interest okay. as a host or something like that up mm -hmm. until that point. Mm. And then I realized this thing, I actually like it. Mm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I should mm -hmm. go into it. Yes. And so, I think when I prayed about it and I told God, Aish, mm. mana, that opportunity is good. Yes. And I don't want to let it go. Mm. And I believe it's mine. Yes. And so I need you to open doors. Mm -hmm. I need you to make ways. Yes. And I think a week or so, mm -hmm. or two weeks from then, I was called back. Mm -hmm. So Benjamin, mm -hmm. then I was interviewed again. Mm -hmm. and, and the MD, an amazing man, an mm -hmm. amazing man, Leo mm -hmm. Slingerland, he told me, Benjamin, mm -hmm. 
I need somebody that's going to take this show to where it's supposed to be. Are you that person? Mm. I looked at him and I told you, <laughs> yes. I am that guy. <laughs> I am that guy. Uh-huh. And he said, okay, cool. Uh-huh. Um, we'll, 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 we'll see what you can do. Yes, yes, yes. So mm. we'll communicate. Mm. I was like, okay, fine. Mm. So me, I left. Mm. And then they called me. They were like, uh, Benjamin, mm. uh, can you start on Monday? I was like, which Monday? Okay. You know, like, mm. like today's Friday, mm-hmm. and can you start, not even today's Friday, I, they called me like on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Can you start on Monday? Mm. I was like, eh, ah, oh, because yeah. I've never been <laughs> to yeah. that place, I've never done that. Yes, yes. And then I was like, yeah, mm. you know, I, I, I'll be willing to start. Mm. And then they said, oh, well, good, okay. come on Monday. Mm. And then they called again, they said, no, you have to come on Thursday, because the host has got to give you... Uh, to hand over the show to you Uh, and then now you can start so i just had wednesday uh to get over the butterflies and everything yes and be on the show i didn't post it on social media i didn't even tell anyone because you were not even ready actually for for about three months i just i didn't want people to see me mess up Mm -hmm. you know you didn't post you didn't tell people i didn't tell people i didn't i didn't tell anyone okay so i shut up on it Mm -hmm. i went on air Mm. I was handed the show, mm. and then the trouble <laughs> began. <laughs> hey, my long days. While starting. Uh, I sh- uh, ah, the long days. I mean, I would go on the show. Uh, the day I've done a perfect link, that's uh-huh. the day I have forgotten to put up the fader. So nobody wow, had, wow, 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 you wow. know, people at home are like, ah, the radio has gone silent. No, it's not that the radio has gone silent. It's that the presenter. Ajo asha maike ake. Na umeongea, ukaongea, ukaongea. Nimeongea. Mbaka tasa zimini probably you're praying. So the mm. broadcast assistant has got to come mm-hmm. and sneak in and just pull up the fader and not Where? even tell you. Mm. And actually... Beginning, I'll tell them, mm. mm. see them, just make sure everything is fine, mm-hmm. make sure I do. And funny enough, in, mm. in media, mm. f- when the first link is bad, mm. the rest of the show is going to be messy. Jeez. So mm. you would have issues, mm. things happening. Mm. The only time you'd be at peace is when you get to like, you know, 7.30. Mm. That's when you're resting. Mm. That's when you're breathing in between songs, uh, you know. Uh, at least kunaka break. <laughs> kunaka break. Uh, I would go home and I'm so stressed. Mm. I would go home and I'm telling my wife, no, I'm not for this thing. I'm mm. quitting this thing. I'm letting go. It's mm. like, yo, mm. you've done it for one week. Mm. <laughs> Two weeks into the thing, uh-huh. I don't even know this. The, the the show, the name of the show I'm hosting. Of course, it's not in my mind properly. Aja, I click. The frequencies, I don't have them. Mm. I don't know uh, what comes after what. What mm. am I supposed to say? All these mm. things. And my mm. wife was like, you know, mm. to Leah. Because mm. naturally, I'm a perfectionist. So yes. I want to be perfect from kabisa, day one. Kabisa. I don't know how to do things that I'm not good at. Mm. And she's like, no, relax. You've mm. never done this before. Mm. This is your first time. So just be easy on yourself mm. and things like that and she went on becoming my mentor all through pole, pole. all through uh, the first time mm. i did the breakfast show should i i, I came home and I'm like ah, i did the breakfast show mm. it's like yeah mm. but let's talk about it now <laughs> she would go like you don't present the newspaper you read the newspaper okay it was like by the time you're done reading the newspaper, there's no point for somebody buying the newspaper because you've told them everything that's in the newspaper. Just pick two mm-hmm. or three mm-hmm. um, stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know, know the segments out, actually. Uh, there's the there's the politics, uh, mm-hmm. the front page, yes. and then there's Apoko Middle, Sujine mm-hmm. Toanga. There's something they call it, mm-hmm. and then kuna opinions, mm-hmm. and then from opinions there's mm-hmm. a pullout, probably okay. business, nini mm-hmm. nini, and things like that. Lifestyle. Then there's sports mm-hmm. at the end. Mm-hmm. And me, I checked at least picked something, mm. you know, through all. And it was mm. like, you, you've done the whole, don't present the newspapers, mm. read mm. Uh, the nini, okay. look at what they have highlighted, and then that's it. Mm. And um, I was like, yeah, sour, mm. kesho tena, you go, <laughs> something else. Uh, I mean, I would get home with a headache. I would uh, get home, there was always eat, and something. sleep. <laughs> you uh, know, uh, I, I, was just, I was just in a very stressful uh, place in my, and my boss would always come the next morning and say, mm-hmm. let's go through the program again, again yesterday. Yeah. Hey. Mm-hmm. But I learned a lot. I actually, mm-hmm. actually found out that in the media, mm-hmm. time is everything. Mm-hmm. Media is actually selling time. Yes. My boss, the first, the first time, he took my three minutes of introduction mm-hmm. and told me, Benjamin, mm-hmm. 
this thing, you would have said it in 30 seconds. Okay. I couldn't believe that. I said, you're repeating yourself. Mm. You keep on saying this, you keep on saying this. Mm. Just say, be very strict and straight on what you want to say. Mm. Plan ahead. Mm. Think about what you're coming to do mm -hmm. and things like that until mm. you become a, a good host and a better host. Yeah. And you know you have done that when your guest is really mm. comfortable, especially. Mm. I actually was afraid of hosting people who've never been on TV or radio okay. because both of us would mess up. Yes. And I don't know how to make you recover. <laughs> <laughs> Where uh, handle? Uh, Achamini Achamini Jihando. Jihando. Uh -huh. So we kill them to uh, yeah. you know, so mm. that was my entry into into radio. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. So umekona ma challenges mingi. Yeah. So what kept you going? Uh, as much as maybe maybe this is not working or that is not working, una mm. correct you makosa. <laughs> what kept you going? Did you did you have something uh that uh, what you do I think for me mm -hmm. for me is um I think I'm competitive by nature mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't say no how you must uh, you must yeah uh -huh. and then I always believe in coming into any space or place when you are the least okay but that should never determine how you will walk out of that place mm -hmm. as so you get to the place mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. kidogo kidogo, mm -hmm. you try your best mm -hmm. and then eventually mm -hmm. you leave being the best version of you mm -hmm. because it's another place to learn mm -hmm. it's another place of growth mm -hmm. and uh, actually if you've never been challenged actually if your if your life is safe mm -hmm. if you know Not everything that safe. you're doing yeah. If everything around you is okay, mm. then no, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're supposed mm. to do things that make you mm. afraid. Mm. Things that when you go to bed, you don't know how to wake up in the morning. Mm. So um, being competitive, mm. I was, I didn't, I didn't want to, I, I think it would hurt me more okay. to go home uh -huh. and feel like I failed at that thing. I would mm. not be able to forgive myself or yeah. to sleep. Yeah. So come what may, I have to do it. Mm. Um, there's the passion of it, the encouragement mm -hmm. of my wife. Mm -hmm. It was it's at some point it was very difficult because sometimes people will leave you to your problems. Mm. You know? <laughs> They're like, okay. Gita fute, bro. Gita idea. Sort. And then you know this is radio. It's <laughs> not you're not gonna shut up yes. to fix a problem. Yes. You know, somebody has to be there, somebody has to help you. Mm -hmm. You're literally like a baby. Yes. And the other guys, you know, the, the crew sometimes will, will feel like, why are we babysitting him? Uh, if we do that for him, he will not be able to learn. So leave group. him by himself. Uh, and I would really, I would really struggle. Mm -hmm. I would really try my best. It mm -hmm. was hurting. Sometimes I felt like I was alone. Mm -hmm. But I had to encourage myself and go like, you know what, carry mm -hmm. it. Yes. Just do it. You can do Keep it. Keep on, you can do it. And, and David so I said, Kabisa, <laughs> man, I, I said and I put it in my mind that I'm going to do this. Uh -huh. uh, my wife was there for me, uh -huh. um, you know, constantly reminding me mm. every day, mm. every day. I would get to, the, I'd get home and then she's like, so how was the show? Mm. I said, do you really want to talk about it? It was so <laughs> bad. Do you believe that this guy happened? Uh -huh. Do you know music refused to play? The system just refused to work. Jeez. At my time, uh -huh. when it was my show, when uh -huh. everybody else was doing their show, it was fine. If it was that, uh, yeah. And she's like, eh, and then she would tell me, so what was good about it? Mm -hmm. And I would go quiet. <sighs> I could not point out one thing that was good about that was the good show. in the show. Mm -hmm. That's when I really started discovering. At a minute, So I was like, let's grow together. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I tried my best mm -hmm. to have that, and mm -hmm. then. Uh, COVID hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. COVID hit. Mm. So I think it was starting to get to me. I was trying to, uh, probably getting to the place where I would have collapsed. Okay. I, would have, I was getting to a place where I would have quit. Mm -hmm. uh, because this is something I had never done in my life, mm -hmm. number one. I mm. didn't know that I can do it. Okay. And then COVID hit. When COVID hit, so I had to change the timings. This mm -hmm. is around April. They mm -hmm. had to change a lot of programming so that we could go home early. Okay. Uh, so that we could, you know, um, handle everything. So they brought mm -hmm. my show mm -hmm. to the morning with James Okomo. Okay. That was the best thing that would have <laughs> happened to me uh -huh. because I got to chill out with this guy. Okay. So he was the one doing the technical work. Jeez. I just needed to bring the content and mm -hmm. make the show fun. And An it was idea. amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. So that was a breather for me. Uh -huh. And we did that for about four months. Uh -huh. And then they said, no, now, Benjamin, um, since we've found a way to go around COVID, okay. 
you are going to go back in the evening. I couldn't wait to go back. Because yeah. now, because now I was yeah. ready. This yeah. is Benjamin Wakan. Mm. Welcome to, you know, I'm ready, need, 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 psyched up for it. Because yeah. now at least I know what I'm doing. Yes. And from then on, it was just a getting to grow, getting mm. to grow, getting mm. to grow, getting to grow. Mm. Uh, until the place where I was really confident. Mm -hmm. Uh, James was going away, mm. I think on leave or something. Then he said, "Can you uh, mm -hmm. come and come mm. and come and do jam?" Mm. And I still went. The first time it was really mm. a bit too, because it's much more work. Okay. It's about four hours mm -hmm. to eat, and I was just doing one hour. Where? And um, I got to from I one got to hour really to, four hours. to four hours. Nice, nice. And right now, mm. as being asked, uh -huh. uh, I mean, I want the four hours. <laughs> <laughs> four hours. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. um, James Okomo really became mm. a, a, a cornerstone for me. Mm -hmm. He became a father, mm -hmm. a mm. leader, a mentor. Mm. And I get to learn that most of the spaces where you want to go into, mm. God will always prepare for you people that will receive you, train will you, build you. you. It's like mm. David going into the palace the first time. Mm. Dude has never been there. Yes. But God made sure that he has mm. a friend who's Jonathan. Who will help him. Who will help him. Mm. They'll constantly be going to the palace mm. and things like that. And then he would get used to those things. Mm -hmm. Because kutoka tu kwa kijiji wende kwanza kwa dress. Not possible. <laughs> Dignitaries, you are dressing kings, uh -huh. you are dressing the army. Yes. I mean, who are you? Yes. You have to. A shepherd boy. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. So 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 that's that's the kind of my mm. my story getting into that place yes. So apart from uh the likes of your wife mm -hmm. and James Okumu who mm. helped you now become uh more confident, more bold. Are there some maybe other media personalities that you used to look up to even before you entered into radio? Uh, no, because it's never been an area of interest. So yeah. So ata ukona skizanga radio. No. <laughs> I never I never listened to radio, I never listened uh -huh. to any but but I think family mm. Family Radio has one of the best mm. presenters. Okay. And uh, I would constantly go. Sometimes I would sit in. Mm. I'd make sure I finish my work. I'd go sit in the drive show. Okay. Just to see what these guys are doing. Mm. And so I would sit like that. And now I'm going to find links. Mm. How she's greeting people and interacting oh, nice, with people. Nice, and I was eh. like, oh. So look on so a benchmark. Eh. Nice. So I had to. Mm. You know? Mm. When I came in, when I come in, um, I would go to the studio because mm -hmm. now there was the mid uh, mid morning okay. uh, show with Wilfred and Jerry. And Jerry is one of the most amazing radio presenters mm -hmm, ever. Mm -hmm, he, mm -hmm. That guy is amazing. He's just so good. Mm. And so I would I would stay with the guy mm. and ask him a lot of questions. Mm. Look look at how he's back announcing songs, mm. how he's doing his links, how mm. his uh, interaction with people. Mm. But the, for me, James was. Um, he was like a god. Mm. I, I think one time we were on air, mm. and then I said, we're praying for families today, so... Mm. And then James said, this is what we're going to do. Mm. Why don't you send us the names of your children, mm. and then we're going to pray for you. Whoa. We had Whoa. traction. Whoa. I saw Whoa. people respond. I was like, this guy just told people to respond, and they mm. did. I like was like, wow. Everyone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, I was like, I, I uh, wish I was him. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And I tried to get it. I tried to get it. I realized, ah, pss, this thing you can't. <laughs> this guy is just him. Uh, you know? And mm. I, I got myself to the place where I'm saying, I, I said, so I was asking him, so how do you do that? Mm. I was like, Benjamin, you just have to. When I sat in for him, is actually when I knew mm. that it is the work that he does behind the scene. This guy mm -hmm. is... He's like he's like twenty years older than me. Okay. And my work ethics is nowhere near him. Okay. I'm younger, mm -hmm. and I can't get to how much that guy works. Okay. So I looked at him, even the more the respect. Mm. I feared him. Mm. And then when he comes here, he makes it look like it's nothing. It's I mean, we are good. Simple. We uh, are amazing. Uh, uh, what's, <laughs> uh, find you too even I even. Uh, uh, but the guy, the was guy, disciplined. The guy was amazing. Mm. He will never come late. Okay. His work is always done. Mm. Sending devotions from January to December mm -hmm. by himself. Every single day. Typed everything. Mm. Oh. And looked at the guy, respected him. And that's not the only thing that he does. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of things that, you know, he's a senior pastor. He's then he's what he's, he's all these things. Mm. But the guy still, I don't know. Mm. And that, that's just There's something about <laughs> He blew him. my mind. Nice. Yeah, nice, and nice. so I said, as it relates to these things, uh, I'm going to look up to this guy. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, but aspect yeah. in me the fact that even you didn't have to go to media school to study yeah. this you go to learn mm -hmm. from the experience yeah. in the moment and that's yes. how you go to learn mm -hmm. so what would you advise maybe someone uh, who wants to take up being a uh, radio as a career and uh, maybe kuna, kuna vitu gani zene, at least to Nezambia or say this this is some of the things which you need to have that I think that thing really taught me a huge lesson mm -hmm. in life don't wait for anything that you're qualified for okay. at the end of kuzwe <laughs> end out wa mi wezi fanya you know uh -huh. and then do it for as long as um, you know to have the sufficient knowledge of it nani okay. nani and things like that mm -hmm. and then and the layer mm. don't let anyone push you on anything if on you've never anything. tried business yes. go and do it mm -hmm. if you have never tried anything hata leo nikijisikia kwa pilot ntisha tu ntandike tu kq and this is what i have done uh, this is me and uh -huh. i want to be a pilot so yes Yes, yes, yes. But there's people who never try anything. We never go out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to be on radio, mm -hmm. go find out what it's about. Mm -hmm. Inbox most of these guys. Mm -hmm. They're very nice. Mm. They're very nice. Mm. Don't let, you know, who somebody is on radio mm. or, you know, you have this mentality about them and things like that. Mm -hmm. People inbox me and I respond to them. Nice. Yeah. So, mm. um, get close to this guy there's mm -hmm. there's people that have come to me and told me benjamin i mm -hmm. want mentorship on radio mm -hmm. i was like okay cool can we go with you to the studio mm -hmm. so that you see how it's done we do this thing together oh, nice nice you know mm -hmm. and they would sit there they would watch me do my mm -hmm. thing i was like yeah this is tv mm -hmm. this is where um the technical team sits this is my director this is mm -hmm. my producer mm -hmm. uh this is uh you know these are the guys that are working with me mm -hmm. this is how it's done and things oh, like nice. and we do together mm -hmm. you know so so most of these guys are also friendly mm -hmm. make sure that you go and and, and just approach check out them, on them. approach them, them. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah but that's a that's a good stepping stone mm -hmm. into uh, where you want to be mm -hmm. the other thing you mm -hmm. said was um um when you are to take up mm -hmm. career so what are the basic things that they need to have basic yeah. um i think i think it's a tricky place to be uh -huh. Uh -huh. because people fall in love with your vibe uh -huh. there's there's radio personalities that create a personality uh -huh. that people fall in love with okay and then there's who they are okay and then there are those ones that are naturally they uh, are they're just they're just themselves on uh, air yes, yes and so uh i wouldn't even want to tell you at do this do this do this uh, -huh. uh the basics would be be courteous uh -huh. be able to talk uh, -huh. uh communicate well but there's people who are doing that naturally. Yes. I mean, you sit with them, you start they laughing. Communicate. You're like, this guy can be. They uh, they would be amazing for yes. radio. What what would happen if you're on the other mm. side with people? Yes. And so mm. I, I just I just feel like um, it's 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 one of those amazing things that you just need to step into. Mm -hmm. Don't wait. Yes. Just go and tell them this is mm. what I can do. Do you guys have space? Yes. Because that will also be another amazing story mm. waiting to happen. Mm. So that it's not just Nilto Kashule, Nikendapa. You know, I actually learned that even James Okumu had not done radio. Okay. Nowhere in his life. And the nice. guy is amazing on radio. Mm. Because it's a it's a talent thing. Mm. It's a personality thing mm -hmm. it's a motivational thing it's mm -hmm. it's how you would love to anything that you'd love to do you just step mm -hmm. forward and mm -hmm. you do it yes. nice 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 we can go <laughs> on and on and Definitely. on but we need to wrap up the show mm -hmm. uh, before director wangu anipeleke mbio so uh let's do this mm -hmm. we are doing a pop quiz in mm -hmm. very simple just Fisher. basic things that you love hakuna <laughs> kitu <laughs> complicated mm -hmm. so what's your favorite food well, <clears throat> I'm not that person that really has a specific thing that they <laughs> like, but I like I like I enjoy chicken, mm -hmm. I enjoy matoke. Uh -huh. I enjoy chapels. Oh, nice. I like I like anything that's baked, you know. Uh, anything that's baked. Anything so that's baked, anything that's So you love many things, yes. a variety yes. of things. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Sana na mitindo tukiamua tunataka kupeleka mahali. Mm. As in, what's your favorite destination in Kenya? Place you know, okay, unatamani kuenda, ama uh, you love, you have ever traveled that you would love go, going there back again? Well, I think for me, mm. the I'm more of an outdoor person. Okay. 
and water. I and love water. water. So okay. Costo would be a good place for me. Uh -huh. Anytime, any day, I think I'll be I'll be in for Costo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Please nice. mipeleke. Mipeleke. <laughs> so uh, if you were not a radio personality, what would you be? Uh, I, <laughs> that's a crazy one because <laughs> I'm so many things to so many people. Yes, There's yes. people that meet me mm. and they're like, oh, Benjamin TV. Mm. Ah, Benjamin oh, Radio. Oh, okay. Benjamin. Uh, uh, you're a pastor, uh, Benjamin. You're a musician, and they have uh, no idea. Uh, and I do these things, but uh, um, music for me, music uh, for me does it. I think music has uh, opened for me every door uh, that I've walked into. Wow, wow, wow. Yes. Favorite mobile phone application? Instagram. 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 <laughs> I don't live at a Wi-Fi IG. Oh, but that's another story for another. <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So favorite pet? I'm not a pet a pets person. So you don't love pets? I don't like pets and yeah. the reason is because I think I'm um I'm a, I'm a softie mm -hmm. emotionally. Mm -hmm. I might look strong but mm. uh, yeah. So meaning to Nikiona I can give my food to the cat. Mm. I can I would want my dog to have the same privileges. <laughs> Let's so grab. for us to avoid that kind of a situation, yeah. let's not go. To, let's not do pets. <laughs> let's not do pets. Yeah. This is really amazing. Thank you so much for coming to our Pleasure show. Pleasure is all mine. Man. Thanks. Right, I've had fun. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So you can, kuna watu maybe hawa wanazataka maybe kukurich as a musician, maybe as a pastor to invite you in the yeah. events. So kindly you can give us your details. Where can we find you? Well, on uh, <laughs> Facebook, mm -hmm. that's uh, Waka Benjamin. On Instagram as well, it's Waka Benjamin. Mm -hmm. um, Twitter, mm -hmm. Waka Benjamin, I think. Mm. That's where I'm found. Or okay, just Google okay. me. Yeah. I think when you Google, it's yeah. better. It's it, it is all, they it's always come here. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for mm -hmm. coming to the show. Pleasure is all mine. Thanks for having uh, me. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. But thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so that was all from us here at Zanana Mitindo. Remember, we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. here on Wema TV. See you next time with the next media personality radio presenter. So see you next time here on Wema TV.